Hello and welcome back to the channel. On the theme of small brands and maritime themed watches, it is difficult to not enter the slipstream of Phoebus. So today I offer up the Phoebus Eagle Ray GMT. Phoebus is a very interesting company for a number of reasons, one of which is that it is a Chinese company that has started to work out its own designs. Yes, they produce your run-of-the-mill Submariner homages, but there are several models in their portfolio that are quite unique. This company also doesn't try what other smaller brands do, which is hide its heritage. This is a Chinese company, and they're proud of that fact, as is shown with one of their models, the Great Wall. The second reason is that most of said models are all sold out, so even if there are limited editions, it doesn't matter. This is a good indicator, and the reviews of these things are soaring all over the internet. Another good indicator is that you seldom see these for sale on the bay, so if you're in the market, they go fast, and especially the Eagle Ray model, as well as any automatic. Anyway, let's dig into the box. First you have the outer box, and then a very serious looking and feeling nylon case inside. Flip it open, and there we have it. This model is the Green Burst Quartz version, with a black rubber tropical strap. The specs are as follows, a stainless steel case of 41mm in diameter, 10.5mm thickness, 47mm lug to lug, and 20mm between them. The glass is double domed sapphire crystal with no less than three layers of anti-reflective coating. You have two crowns that are screwed down, one for setting the time and one for setting the bezel. On the back you have the world timer, which feels a bit superfluous in a practical sense, but it is pretty to look at when the watch is off. The watch is powered by the Swiss Rondo Movement 515-24H. There is also loom applied to the hands, indices, and bezel markings, and it is ample. It is certified at 300 meters, and the site states that it is suitable for swimming, snorkeling, and scuba diving. This means that you're meant to scramble your brains underwater. However, I seriously will not. Frankly, looking at it, I don't understand why anyone would want to take it diving. This is a GMT. Nothing else. You basically set the time as follows. You screw out one of the crowns, and then set the time normally. You can also set the GMT time. The other screw-down crown is for the bezel only. It's not that difficult, really. And compared to the Casio G-Shocks with all their myriad of functions, this one is very, very straightforward. The strap is comfortable. It feels quite sturdy. There really is nothing much to be said here. It feels and looks great. Note the Phoebus signed buckle. Nice touch. The dial is basically the main reason I fell for the watch, and particularly the logo. This is the greatest logo I've ever seen on a watch, and I cannot understand the debate over it, but to each their own. The whole design is so artistic, and each look at it is an occasion. Yes, it's a quartz watch, and to me they are less interesting than the mechanicals, but this watch along with my Zodiacs is a prime example of how a battery-driven watch can be interesting and attractive. And here you can see it on my wrist which is 19 centimeters, or 7.48 inches, or 0.000944 furlongs. The diameter is, I think, quite perfect. It also passes the shirt cuff test with no problem. As stated before, these watches are all sold out. You can find them every once in a while on the bay, and the prices aren't that inflated. I overpaid for mine, my price came out at about $250, but I just couldn't resist. If you're looking for a reliable, interesting, and gorgeous quartz watch, this is one to consider. As usual, I am Mr. Jacobson, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.